Simulink is a trusted tool for designing complex systems that include decision logic and controllers, sensor fusion, vehicle dynamics, and 3D visualization components. As of release 2020B, you can incorporate deep learning networks into your Simlink models to perform system level simulation and deployment. If we look inside the vehicle and lane detection subsystem, we'll see the use of two deep learning networks. Now the input video is going to go in, we'll do some pre-processing to resize the image. From there, it's sent to the lane detector and we can see the lane detector being defined in the mat file here. From there, we'll send it for some post-processing to detect the coordinates and then draw left and right lanes in the output video. Now in parallel, the input video will also be sent to the second deep learning network, the YOLO v2 network, and here you can see that being defined in the mat file inside the MATLAB function block. From there, we'll send it again to do some annotations to draw bounding boxes around detected vehicles. So here's a simulation running on the CPU. Frame rate's a little low, uh, but the input video is on the left and the output video is on the right. And you can see that we're detecting the left and right lanes, highlighting it in green, and, and drawing bounding boxes around vehicles that we see. Now, we're ready for code generation, so we can launch either the Simulink Coder or the Embedded Coder apps. In this case, we'll start Embedded Coder, and we will go into the configuration parameters. At the top, you'll see uh, the appropriate system target file. We set the language to C++ for deep learning networks. And, and towards the bottom here, you can see that we're making use of the Microsoft Visual C++ toolchain. On your interface, this is where we can specify the deep learning network, target libraries, and we can choose either MKL DNN for Intel CPUs or ARM Compute Library for ARM Cortex-A processors. So in this case, we'll keep MKL DNN so that we can run this on our Intel CPU. And let's generate code. So here's the code generation report. Let's first look for the step function. And scrolling down a little bit. Here you can see uh, the part of the code that we're calling for an inference for the first of the two deep learning networks. Now let's take a look at how the deep learning networks are defined. Here's the one for uh, LaneNet. And here you can see the set of public and private methods, setup, predict, and cleanup. Now we can also take a look at the second deep learning network, the YOLO v2 network. And here we have a similar set of public and private methods set up, predict uh, additional activations and cleanup. If we wanted to, we can look inside a setup and this is loaded once at the beginning of the program. And here you can see the deep learning networks being loaded in one layer at a time. And when we do each layer, we also load in the weights and biases. So that's a quick look at generating code from deep learning networks inside of Simlink for CPUs such as Intel and ARM processors. For more information, take a look at the links below.